So welcome back. And we still have our four sides of our castle. And what we're going to do now is add our floor and ceiling. So if you look on the top view, you'll notice that we have a box. And with that box, we're just going to change something. Let me just delete that so it goes back to its original position. And I actually took the time to change one of the sides, so one side would have a door. So if we went back to our perspective view, you'd see the front door, and you could just kind of just go around and see that the others have no doors. So that's just a simple editing of one of the drawings. That's why I made them duplicates and not clones. Because if I made them clones, then every side would have a door. So it's time to add the floor. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to add myself a drawing layer for the floor. So click there, put that inside, and here we go. We have one drawing layer. And all we need to do is pretty much just draw a square and work from there. So I'm going back to my camera view. I want to show the safe area really. So I can start from somewhere. So I click here, hold on, shift and alt. Plug out myself a nice square. And that will make a good well that should make a good floor or a ceiling. Man, am I tired? What time is it now? 1.06 a.m. right now. All right, so let's make some quick work out of this. So this is my floor, and camera view shows this. So what I really need to do is Basically, with this floor, kind of just fit it into place so it fits as a good floor. So I'm going to add a peg to this. Change this to like floor. Press OK and add a peg to it. So I have a floor peg now, and I'm going to have to enable the 3D. That way I can set it the right way. So I'm actually going to edit the I believe it's the Y axis to 90 degrees. Oh I guess I was wrong. Let's try the X axis. Yeah, it was the X axis. So the X axis from the top view you'll see that I have a box. And if you look through the perspective view it kind of comes through my window there and that doesn't look very right. So I'm just going to change something from the top view and just translate it so it fits within this square. So I'm just going to lift this up. Hopefully it fits into place without giving any weirdness. But even as I look on each side, you can faintly see line. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this drawing going on the drawing tab and reduce the size of the actual drawing itself. So perspective view I should have something somewhere like this. Right? So I'm just going to carry this up to the top using the side view. So before you saw the top view, now we have a side view. I might have to increase the size of this. The side view kind of shows you the side of your object and my ceiling or floor is actually a cross window. I actually want to make it a floor. So I carry it onto the base of my castle and my perspective view should show me I have some going all the way to the bottom. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to increase the size of this drawing again. So I'm just gonna go to my select tool and slightly just increase the size. So I think that should work. I need to increase a little more. Just a wee bit. Okay. So the next thing is to actually make a duplicate of the floor and let it be the ceiling. So we go back to our network, kind of copy this and paste special. So let's say always create drawings and create new columns. Press enter or OK. And now I have another set of floors which I will attach to the composite and back out to the multiport. Oh, that's kind of weird. Why do I make it so difficult? Anyways, don't mind that. So I'm just going to go with this again. Top view, side view, and the side view one is going to take it up or not. So we're going to carry it up to the top of the castle. So Grab this at the top. You cannot see it. This is something happening over on the other side. So as I carry this up, you'll notice that the ceiling itself is rising up. And so in our perspective view, you have something like this going on still kind of have that weird look there but I guess we'll have to reduce the size of that later but you kind of get the gist of having a floor and a ceiling so that's pretty much how it would work and I'm just going to make one more short video tutorial on how to use the camera in a case like this so hopefully you learn some from this and it's not really hard you could probably try out your own making an eight-sided castle or you could make a dice or just a crate so try out different things all right so make one more video and hopefully that will be it on this three well leave your comments let me know what you think do i need to fix anything do i need to explain anything else and i'll just put it on the requested videos list so take care, and thanks for watching. See ya.